Sterling Holmes joined by Kay Adams, host of the Up and Adams show. Kay, thank you so much for being here with Stacking the Box in the Arrowhead Attic podcast. I'm so excited. I listen to you guys all of the time. Uh, I'm a big fan. And I wore my red for Smirnoff, of course, in the cocktail coordinator, but also for these Chiefs who are back where they are going to be forever, the Super Bowl. Yeah, before we talk more about the NFL and the Super Bowl, Eagles, Bengals, Chiefs, <laughs> what are you doing with Smirnoff and the cocktail coordinator? Oh my gosh, we've had a partnership all year long and it's been hard work. Let me tell you, Smirnoff and myself have been searching the country for the first ever official Smirnoff cocktail coordinator, AKA the best job in America. We wanted to find somebody who was hospitable, warm, welcoming, knows how to throw a party, brings the high vibes, also has a playbook of cocktails to bring. So everybody had to submit a cocktail. There were so many submissions, but only one winner. Let me tell you, Sterling, I was in Dallas last weekend, and it was down to three finalists. Impossible choice, but we found and crowned one, and we will reveal it uh, on Instagram at Smirnoff. So go there and follow. There's also recipes for the best cocktails, uh, and it's a lot of fun. And also, the winning market I got to say this the winner's market, and you'll find this out on Monday, uh, February 6th. Well, um, everybody in that market will be eligible for a $25 ride share for Super Bowl Sunday. You know how I feel if you've ever followed anything in my career about responsible drinking. I'm so proud to be partnered with Smirnoff because they care about that and are offering that to the winner's market. So follow Smirnoff along for all of the fun. Uh, am I too late to get in this? Because this is the Sterling special right here. We're just, just boom. It's the strawberry and rose on rocks. Show me the bottle. Show me the, we got to see, uh, give me a little close up. Okay. Smooth. Smooth. Zero sugar. You're just drinking yep. that meat. No ice. Watching my figure. Watching my figure. Yeah. Got to, got to keep it tight. Got to keep it tight. Come on now. Coming. It's a big, it's a big week <laughs> in our industry. Uh, no, but thanks for supporting. No, you can't uh, apply, but so many people did and everybody had great stories. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. So before we get into the Super Bowl. You're a Bengals gal. We saw that on Twitter after the game. If you're not following her on Twitter, first off, what are you doing? But you were uh, supporting the Bengals fans and their, their rise against the refs. What was your main takeaway from that game? And please, please don't say refs. Oh, no, but I think there was room for frustration with the refs. Any team can be frustrated with the refs, but you have to emotionally react to that as a Bengals fan or whatever fan and then turn the page. Like my, my takeaway from that game was that Patrick Mahomes – as I've said all year, we're normalizing him and it's pathetic. It's sad to see. He does stuff and pulls tricks out of his hat all the time. We have to understand and appreciate greatness while we have it. We did it more with Tom Brady than we do with Patrick Mahomes. I don't know what that is, uh, but he was down four of his five receivers. Marquez Valdez Scantling looked incredible. And you had these players stepping up. That's my takeaway. Spags always gets guys to step up. Chris Jones was shot out of a cannon with a personal thing against the Bengals from the last AFC championship game, finally getting that sack and then some in this game. And they just made more plays. The, you know, you can say what you want and be frustrated with the refs, but the Bengals in the first quarter, you can't really blame the refs when that happened. They had their chances in this one. So frustrating loss for Bengals fans, but really rewarding and deserving deserved win for the Chiefs. So Mahomes, in my opinion, had his Tiger Woods 08 U.S. Open moment, getting a, a big game one on one leg, but they came out of that game extremely banged up. Obviously, the Eagles have a lot of injuries as well. Lane Johnson, Jane, uh, Jalen Hurts. How do injuries play a factor in the upcoming Super Bowl? I mean, I think you have to ask yourself, do you care more about a shoulder injury with Jalen Hurts or an ankle injury with the Patrick Mahomes, uh, who obviously he likes to be mobile. He likes to improv. It's part of his game. But even on one leg with no receivers, this Bengals line could not get to him. All I was saying, and I was in Dallas for the Smirnoff competition, I'm, I'm judging and helping run the show uh, with the cocktail coordinator uh, competition, the finalists, while I'm watching this game. And I'm like, how can you not get home on him? How still? So I was really impressed with the offensive line uh, with the Chiefs. You know, it's going to be one of those weird trench games, but if it comes down to the quarterbacks, you look at what Jalen Hurts looked like against the number one defense. They ran all over him, 148 yards on the ground. Miles Sanders doing his thing, four touchdowns against this number one defense. But I didn't love what I was seeing out of Jalen Hurts himself. I, you know, we 
we have, I have questions about Jalen Hurts that I just don't have about Mahomes. Um, so it might come down to Lane Johnson, who's playing out of his mind. Can he, you know, neutralize our guy num number 95, who I did yoga with, you know, in the preseason <laughs> all those years ago, who I love and I want him to win defensive player of the year. I don't know. It's him and Hassan Reddick. It's what it always ends up being. It ends up being the trench warfare and who comes out on top. But I'm less worried about Mahomes and the ankle and than I am with Jalen Hurts in the throwing shoulder. Yeah, first off, I'm glad you brought up yoga because that, that's my thing. I've been trying to get folks to not make fun of me for doing yoga. And Chris Jones really helped me out here. Chris Making Jones helped fun of you. I, I, I don't know. I, I do a lot of sports. You, you see, yeah. give, giving the guys a hard time. It's not my fault. I'm trying to do some some warrior two, some down dog. Gotta, gotta get it. Down dog. You gotta get it. Listen, all right. you're, doing, you're doing all the right, Sterling. You, we gotta be friends. Are you, are you going to Super Bowl? I am not. I not. Not. Well, that, yeah, I, I was the that. lame guy that was chosen to stay back in KC, but I'm not mad because I get free beer and barbecue. So it's kind I mean, of a win-win. But you're not going to drink the beer. You're going to drink Smirnoff cocktails over Come on, at Smirnoff on Instagram and that infusion sugar-free you're drinking with uh -huh. your physique, your yoga body. <laughs> All right. I do want to get some rapid fire questions. I call it sure. this or that. Little Kansas City, little Philly, little random. Can we sing it together? Can we make a thing? This or sing it with me. This. I actually have a song. Oh, let's hear it. You know the, the the old commercial from the Kia, the Kia Soul commercial with the little um gophers? Were they gophers? Sterling, the, the, the this or that? I'm taking you to 2013. A little, bit of this, a little bit of that. Is that what you're saying? Yes, you nailed it. You can get with this or you could get with that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Is that the right one? You nailed it. Wow. And that's what we have you singing, not me, because the second I sing, everyone just turns the bad boy off. All right, no let's do No one wants this. to hear me sing. Barbecue or cheesesteaks? Um, cheesesteaks, for sure. I'm so sorry. But yeah, yeah, I can't do those bones and stuff like that. And I don't like barbecue sauce. Oh, my gosh, but I love Joe's Keithy. Who has a better day, AJ Brown or Travis Kelsey? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm going to go with... Travis Kelsey, they need him. He's going to step up and make a bigger play and experience is going to shine. I'm also a Mizzou alum. What was your okay. favorite bar there? Oh, I worked at Willie's Pub and Pool. For oh, there we go. Years. So I was your cocktail waitress on uh, Dollar Bottle Nights, and I would be whipping up Smirnoff cocktails behind that bar literally every happy hour of my life to pay for my books in school. Who do you think Mrs. Kelsey is secretly rooting for more, Jason or Travis? Donna. Donna, Donna's winning both. Travis said it the best. Mama's winning no matter what. So I hope she's just enjoying it for what it is. Uh, and I asked Gronk, I asked Gronk on my show up in Adams, who is going to get their second Super Bowl ring first this is before the conference championship games. And he, I think he said, Jason, I think mm. he picked against your team. Boo. Wow. Smirnoff Martini or Smirnoff Mule? I'm going to go Smirnoff Mule because I can drink more and I like a drink that can stay cold and those mule mugs are great. But you can't go wrong with the Smirnoff Martini uh, either. Honestly, I've lived for a long time. I'm a big, I'm Polish. I'm a big vodka gal. So uh, Smirnoff has amazing flavors. You're drinking one of them. You've got really spicy ones too. And by the way, if you anybody wants to see ingredients, I love the Cosmo Catch, Vernon Davis's drink. Super light, perfect. It's got reddish Kansas City Chiefs vibes. So check that one out over on the Instagram handle uh, at Smirnoff. Which fans are crazier, Eagles or Chiefs? Crazier Eagles. Crazier mm. Eagles. Who wins you the battle? I don't know. We had that one guy allegedly, allegedly become a bank robber on his way to a Chiefs game. I don't know. Okay, I forgot about that. I forgot about the guy and the, that guy that was so funny. I can't, I, I need to talk about that more on next week's show. Uh, but crazier, like, buying lacrosse tickets to get into the lot like do I feel less safe am I like a little more oh what's going on here at the <laughs> when I do at Arrowhead yeah Arrowhead everyone's making you play to barbecue and having the best time ever <laughs> who wins the battle between the Chiefs offensive line and the Eagles pass rush the Eagles offensive line mm. Smeared off Bloody Mary <laughs> or a smeared off screw come on what's with you and the Eagles over here just because the Chiefs well. beat the Bengals you I can't be you. salty over here. I don't, I think if you're, are you going to ask me my Super Bowl pick there, Sterling? This that, that? That's the final one, but All right. that's, I apologize. Well, why don't you uh, keep it, keep it zipped till we get there. Okay. All right. Smear off Bloody Mary or a smear off screwdriver. Screwdriver. Never. I don't, I, Bloody Mary's taste like cold soup to me. No, thank you. All right. Which fan, soup. <laughs> which fan base are you going to piss off? 
Eagles or Chiefs? Who wins? I'm going to piss off the Eagles and it's going to make me sad. I'm, I'd be happy if both teams win, but uh, you know, I'm, I grew up loving football with the dynasty. I talked to Dante Hall, X factor human joystick. He says they need to win three to be a dynasty. So I'd like to get that second one on the board. I think the chiefs and Mahomes take it. They've just got the vibe and nobody talked about them. They were slept on the whole year while everybody was talking about everybody else. So I think chiefs win it close game though. High scoring. Kay Adams from the Up and Adams Show. This season, Smiroff issued a call to football fans everywhere. Serve up the best game day vibes. Smiroff cocktails for a chance to be the cocktail coordinator. Many answered. Only one remains. Kay Adams, thank you so much. Sterling, you're going to get yourself a Smirnoff deal. That was really well done. I appreciate <laughs> you, and I hope we get to meet soon. And good luck and have fun. Thank you.